your vision board, it's all about the future, looking forward and making your future happen. Welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time, I'm Lisa Dixon and I'm your divorce expert. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell button so you get free divorce expert advice like child custody, child alimony and financial settlements. Now let's get straight into it. One of the things that I decided to do was to restart a new vision board. So to have a look and restart a new one. Now you can still order stuff online depending on where you are. I ordered this new vision board and I thought I'm going to start afresh. This is a good time, clear the slate. We're all going to get through this and you know just start having a look at what are some of your long time goals. Five years, one year, six months and a vision board is a great way to have a look at that. So do some things for you. So let's get started on your vision board. Your vision board, it's all about the future, looking forward and making your future happen. Don't we have so many photographs in our houses, all of the past? So now cast your mind to the future and let's focus on making dreams happen. Step one, brainstorm and mind map what you want to dream about or what you are dreaming about. What are your wishes? Do you want a new house? Do you want to keep your house in your divorce settlement? Are you looking to have 100% custody of the children? Or are you happy to share them for 50%? Are you looking to buy a new car? Do you want to get a new job or new qualifications? All of these things, just write them down, brainstorm you and start accumulating all these ideas and all these wishes. Nothing is off limits when you're brainstorming. Step two, believe in those dreams. Your dreams truly have to be realistic. You really can't put down anything like flying to Mars with Tesla <laughs> unless you've got that sort of money, but they do have to be a little bit grounded. Just have a bit of a reality check after you've done all your brainstorming about, you know, are they achievable? Do you think with some work, some effort, retraining, whatever you need to do, would they be achievable? Step three, get prepared and organized. Find images of what you want. Now this is the really, really fun part. So have a look, I love looking through magazines, internet, Pinterest, all of that. And start printing them out, the car that you want, the new job, the new wardrobe, the new qualification, whatever it may be, what you want in your divorce settlement. I did a vision board that was up on my wall for quite a long time about everything that I wanted specifically from my divorce settlement. And don't forget in our vision pack, we've got all kinds of funky things to help you get your vision board up and running. We've got all the goals where you can fill them in. We've got all the worksheets and we've got some really funky quotes and things like that to keep you motivated. Step four, create your layout. Now this is where we can help. There's a few templates, one to 10, for your goals and a few other templates that are really, really helpful and that's in the vision pack. So make sure you grab your copy of the vision pack today. That will really help you and it's really affordable and it just gets you in the right direction. And it starts your layout, how you wanna place everything, whether you want to do it over five years, one year, two years, three years, etc. Whether it's just simply 12 months at this stage or whether it's much more a big picture in terms of the divorce settlement which means that you may have children, property, yourself, your life, your job, all of those sorts of things. So create your layout and have some fun with it. Step five, it's really important that you make your goals time bound and that you make your goals specific. It's really important that they are detailed, specific, not just I want to lose weight, but I want to lose 10 kilos by Christmas, whenever. So those are the sorts of goals that you have to use. They have to also have some room for milestones because you can break them up then. If it's a goal that you know is gonna take a year or a year and a half, then you can break it up by month. And that's the fun of it. You'll be able to tick things off as you go along, which will be really fantastic. Step six, show it where you can see it. Now this is fun and everybody comes up with different ideas. I have had my vision board in my bathroom 
I've had it on my wardrobe door where the mirror is. I've actually had it on my bedroom door where I open the bedroom door and I see my vision board every single morning. So this is the fun part as well. Make sure you've got it somewhere that you can see it. It's got to be every day. It's got to be in your face. It's got to be there to remind you and tick things off as you go, which will be wonderful. It gives you so much motivation when you see it too. And it also reminds you that you have to take steps to make these dreams a reality. Dream big, think big, make your dreams a reality. Get your vision board sorted today.